Now in this lesson, we're going to talk about pad reform and using the keyboard plugins I have in my MPC2 software to create music. Now so far I have a drum sequence right here, which is a drum program, which is on track number one. Okay, we got the drum program. Now next, I would go to the next track, which right here would be track number two. Once I get to track number two, you can see here I've set up already a plugin. My plugin is Hype, and it has Rustic Keyboard, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to find another keyboard I want to use. So I'm going to come up to here, and we're going to go to Piano. Here's Piano right here, and I want to use House Piano right there. Now I'll play this back, kind of low right there. So I can come to High, but I can come to here too as well. I can come to here too as well. As you get the idea, each one of these letters, A through G, gets me a higher octave up from where the other one was at, obviously. I can also come here into Pad Perform. I can change my octave right here too as well. I may want to increase it here. I'll do that. Of course, I can do anything pretty much in this whole idea. So I can do that when I record the actual progression in. So I also have As Played Velocity here. We have Trap Progression. As you can see here, we have a lot of progressions. We have classical, gospel, guitar, hip hop, house, jazz. We have keys, neo soul, pop, R&B, and we also have trap for these trap sequences. So as you can see right now, there are like a lot of different progressions I can actually make or not use either way, but it's really cool to have inside the system, particularly if you're starting out or you're just trying to design your song or project and get a good idea of the kind of keys you want to use before you hire a keyboard player. So let's go over this pretty quickly. I'm going to go here to um, record. I've got a progression, I think. And I want to go lower an octave. That's better. Went to B right there. And now what I want to do is come in here and just record it. So I think I'm not going to go to record yet. The best thing to do is start. I'll put record on now. I got an idea what I want to do too. A minor. Okay, hear that? But the E minor here is too soon. So what I want to do here, I'm going to go up here and look at the progression. I'll come up here. I see it right there. So I come in here now, select these keys. And I'll grab one more note right here. Now I'm just going to pull it back, get the cursor on it, and pull it back to right in the line to start on the two of the measure. Now, start from the beginning. Now I want to edit it, so while it's playing, I'm going to select all the notes. I'll pick any one note, and I'm going to drag it out somewhat. Maybe I'm going to pull in a little bit more. I don't want to sustain that much. I want to sustain less, so I'll pull in a little bit more as well. There you go, I want to sustain for this one bar because there is some sort of reverb tied to the sound. That's pretty cool. And that's how I can actually add chords to the drum pattern. And so I can go from this point too, I can add some strings in or whatever, but you get the idea that we can actually create our own music just using pad perform.